In today's technologically dependent world, it would be difficult to imagine anything that doesn't, at some level, rely upon electricity to exist. From the lights in our homes, to the phones in our pockets, to the satellites in orbit around our planet, everything that makes our world what it is today seems to sit atop the shoulders of electrical energy. Even the cars we drive are beginning to include themselves within this reality. But for all of the wonderful things that electricity provides, there are always the occasional stark reminders that electrical energy plays no favorites when it comes to its ability to do harm. And while its beauty may shine when controlled, it can be a death sentence if allowed to run loose. Like any other source of energy, electrical energy possesses the capacity to do work. That is, after all, what the definition of energy means, a capacity to do work. And it is for this very reason that we have become so addicted to electricity. It's clean, it's powerful, and it does work. But as energy is defined as the capacity to do work, power is defined as the rate at which work is done. Any form of energy, whether it be electrical, mechanical, chemical, thermal, or even nuclear, is measured in joules. And the rate at which energy is used, or power, is measured in watts. Now there are many different ways to define a joule and a watt, but all are essentially equivalent. In simplest terms, a joule is equal to one newton meter, a newton being the fundamental unit of force, and a meter being the fundamental of distance. And a watt is equal to one newton meter per second. In other words, one watt is equal to one joule per second. So a 100 watt light bulb would use 100 joules of electricity every second, or equivalently, one kilojoule every 10 seconds, or 360 kilojoules per hour. <laughs> but what the hell does all that mean? I mean, exactly how much electricity is in a joule? And how powerful is a watt? What do they look like in the real world? Numbers are fine, but I like to see things. All of us know that electrical energy is dangerous. We're all taught from a very early age to avoid touching bare wires, and for God's sake, don't stick a knife into a toaster. The reasons for this are simple. You don't want to get electrocuted. Electricity travels through the human body very well, and as our bodies actually run on electrical energy, too much of the stuff can and will stop the heart. That's bad. But for those of us that are in the industry of electric power, those of us that work with this stuff every day, we recognize that there are other significant hazards associated with electricity other than simply getting electrocuted. And one of the biggest of those is the hazard of arc flash. Now, arc flash is defined as the light, heat, supersonic shock wave and ejection of materials produced during an electrical explosion resulting from the inadvertent and or accidental short circuit contact made between phase to phase or phase to ground. In simpler terms, it is the uncontrolled and violent release of large amounts of energy over very short periods of time, i.e. power. 
And if the release of controlled electrical energy is an angel, then Arc Flash is a demon. This experiment is designed to provide a visual representation of what Arc Flash is and what it's capable of. It's also designed to show the difference between power and energy. Now this setup will deliver a measured amount of electrical energy, in this case one kilojoule, releasing that energy over three different time intervals. The first time interval will be the control, and that will be through this incandescent light bulb. The amount of time necessary to move one kilojoule of energy through this light bulb should be somewhere between eight and nine seconds. This is the way we like to use electricity. It represents the angel. The second interval will be uncontrolled and it will be through this piece of steel wool. And the third interval will also be uncontrolled and it will be through this piece of thin copper wire. Now as the name uncontrolled implies, the second and third events are going to produce much different results than the first. And that's because the time required for these last two events will be measured in milliseconds rather than in seconds. Now our test subject will be this doll. His name is Ken and he represents the unlucky industry worker who is about to have a very bad day. He doesn't know it yet, but he's about to get real up close and personal with the demon called Arc Flash. Let's watch and see what happens. At the end of the day, when the sun goes down and the job is finally done, success is ultimately measured only by the smiles on the faces of our loved ones. We must continually remind ourselves that our safe return home is only secured through an understanding of electricity and a working knowledge of its rules. Electric power will always possess the capacity to do harm, to harm us. It is indiscriminate and it pays no heed 
to whomever may stand before it. Electrical energy obeys only the laws of nature and nothing more. We should always remain vigilant when working with or around electricity and respectful for although we may have successfully managed to harness its energy, we should never fool ourselves into believing that we can always control its power. The dangers of arc flash will always be there, watching, waiting, silently ready to spring loose at a moment's notice, turning electricity from angel into demon.